to this is rain for me, so how you guys doing? Um, I'm going to re-review -re my TV that I just got um, because after looking at it, I didn't really go into the specs or you know the bezel it has, the thinness of the TV light. There's so much I could have went over that I didn't get to go over in the TV. So I will do a part two, but this is not another TV review. This is about one of my favorite apps that is so underrated and under overlooked. Like, like this developer, I guess they don't pay for it. I don't know what the deal with that is. But I don't know how to ex describe this or explain it. If you have voodoo movies, then you know what I'm talking about. You know how great it is. On every... This is my past world. This is my old world. This is my old remote. This don't even have Netflix or nothing on it. There's no Netflix. This is the old LG remote. This is my new one. Yes, I took the plastic off and now I have this one. But this is my thing. This is, I wouldn't really call this a thing or a gripe, but this is my opinion. And there's a lot of people that agree with me. Voodoo is a terrific app. You get free movies, of course you're gonna get ads. You can buy movies once you buy the movie, it is then yours. There's no membership. There's no location setting. There's no phone number you have to put in. They don't make you go through all that. It's just one app you got. If you have an email address, you can go and watch it. You typically don't even need an email address. The downside is if you're going to use that app in the free version, you won't get 4K HDR or, or Adobe Vision or nothing like that. So that being said, Voodoo has some of the best movies out there. Back in my PS3 days is when I first decided to sign up for Voodoo. Back in the day, they gave you like $4.99. It's free money to check it out, to buy a TV show or movie or rent something just to see if you would like it. You know, and I thought, if they gave me $4.99, I'm not going to just rent a movie and then if I like the movie, then I in turn have to purchase it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a TV show. And at the time, they had Highlander, Adrian Paul, Stan Kirsch. You know, they had the Highlander. That was one of my favorite TV shows. So I bought a couple of episode, episodes of the Highlander. And on the strength of those two Highlander episodes I was able to buy, I kept going back and going back to Voodoo. And then at the time, they had Xena Warrior. They had the Highlander. They had Xena Warrior Princess. They had Hercules. They had Sinbad. All those shows, those, those medieval shows that they had back in the day. And they kept, kept me coming back and back and back to it. And then it just made me think, okay, I just keep buying these TV shows, which is good. But I never really continued to go to the app after I had seen them so many times. But that's my that's my thing. I love looking at things that I've seen before, as well as new things too. But as per like, I stopped using the app for a minute. I would say for about a good six months, six or seven months, and I went back to go purchase season two or three of the Highlander, and they said it was no longer available. And I said, well, at least I can watch the old ones. I went to click on some of the old episodes. They were still there, and I was watching them. And I called Voodoo, and they said, oh, well, yeah, well, we lost the rights to them. We lost the rights. And so I kept calling and calling. I got a couple of people, like 
three or four people, uh, and I doubt that this is why that three or four people, including me, four or five people, would make this big of a difference. But I called them and called them and called them. Can you guys please get the show back? Uh, Zena was gone. Like they were gone. Like I just said, they showed you that they had them, but then you couldn't bring, you couldn't buy them or rent them anymore. So I was just kind of like really disappointed. I'm like, man, that's what made me come here because they had, at the time, Amazon didn't have it, uh, Netflix didn't have it, Hulu didn't have it, freaking Crunchy. Nobody has a Highlander. Nobody. And my only source of watching it was Voodoo. So on the strength of having Voodoo, I went back. I kept checking back week after week, month after month, and they still didn't have it. So I decided I would get a couple of people together to help me say, hey, do you guys like Highlander? Are you familiar with Voodoo? And sure enough, they helped me. You know, I called them and called them, and we just kept calling them. Within a few months, guess what came back on there? The Highlander. But this time, it wasn't just for purchase. You could watch it free with ads, or you could purchase. I purchased two full episodes at the time, and I continued to watch those episodes over and over and over. So I said, you know what? I'm going to actually watch. I'm going to actually get a few movies on here. And at the time, I had Netflix because they had The Golden Child on there. And The Golden Child was one of my, is one of my favorite movies. It's on Voodoo also. But Voodoo is going to have um, things, some things in Dolby. And like at the time, they had the, the Golden Child in regular 1080 or 4K or whatever. It wasn't in Dolby Vision or 4, native 4K like it was on Voodoo. So I watched it on Voodoo, I mean on Netflix, and I put it on my wish list on Voodoo because at the time I didn't have money to buy it. I went to Voodoo, I mean to Netflix, I watched a few movies on Netflix. Poseidon, The Forest, freaking, um, Poseidon, The Forest, freaking, Punisher is now on Voodoo also, uh, which is one of the only reasons I, the only reason I keep Voodoo, uh, the only reason I keep Netflix, honestly, is, is for Girl, Girl From Nowhere and Mowgli. It's a darker, more adult version of the Jungle Book. Where Jungle Book is made more for kids, it's bright, colorful, and funny. Not that Mowgli isn't isn't funny, but it's more it's more darker. Like Shere Khan actually scratches his a long, a long scar down Mowgli's arm, and Mowgli's actually bleeding for it. You can see his eyes rolling back in pain. You know, you can tell that this that that version of Jungle Book Mowgli wasn't made for kids. Uh, he's running, he falls, Mowgli's, there's a scene where Mowgli's running and he trips and falls into this trap. There are spikes hanging up, there's spikes sticking up and as Mowgli falls, he just barely misses these spikes. And like, as seeing that as a kid, that would freaking traumatize you. So it's like, it's, it's got things in it that's really not, it's not kid friendly, it's not. Um, another thing about it is there's no there's no King Louie in it either. Uh, that's a whole other review. But Voodoo is one of the most awesomest apps you could ever use. It used to be called Voodoo Movies. Now Fandango got their hands in it. I'm glad that somebody's trying to partner up with Voodoo, but at the same time, it's like Voodoo was fine on its own. I didn't really care about Fandango, I could care less. But then again, that may be why they have a lot of the things that weren't there before, not including the Highlander. And I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean on Voodoo now. Ignore this clip, this is a app I'm watching. Here's my Voodoo here. It's called Voodoo by Fandango now. It was just normally called Voodoo. 
Voodoo movies. Look at this is Evil Dead Rise. This is a brand new movie that's out already on sale for $19.99. $20. Normally this is like a $30 movie. And now these are the movies that I have now. There's Everest, The Bible, Crawl. This is another movie I saw on, uh, I saw this not on Netflix, but I saw it on Amazon Prime, which was really, really awesome. Indigenous. I saw previews for this and I bought it, which was amazing. Granted, it's not in 4K, but it is a, you know, an amazing movie. And then we got Gods from Egypt, which I have not seen on Netflix at all. And I've waited for this movie. The reason I have this movie is because Netflix refused to get it. They get all these old movies, but they didn't get this one. And I'm like, why would they have all these other old movies and not get Gods from Egypt? You know, there's just so many movies that I have on here. This is just my watch list. You can only watch 20. Here's, <clears throat> here are all of my movies. Ginger Snaps, Megan, Alien Covenant, 300, Bloodshot, all Iron Man movies, which I got on sale. Like, I have 124 movies that I purchased from Voodoo. It should give you some indication how much I watch and how much I am trying so hard. They didn't pay me to say anything. None of this is scripted. This is my review on Voodoo. I don't know why. Look at this. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. Disney Plus hasn't even been around that as long as Voodoo. I could care less about this Alexa and whatever this is. I don't even want those. If I could change it, I could have this to be Voodoo. I'd rather have one of these be a Voodoo button than Alexa. I don't even care about that. And here's the... Here's the Highlander that I purchased. Uh, Punisher here. Here's the Highlander series I was just telling you about. The reason these two aren't free with ads is because I purchased this full season. Okay, well, I didn't. There's one of the. I purchased two full seasons. And it's, it usually shows up, but I haven't watched it in like a couple of months. So they just, every now and again, a reminder pops up that, hey, these are free. You can watch free with an ad. You see here it's $1.99, but I can just go here and watch free and it'll pop up now you're gonna see an ad I'm gonna turn this down because I don't want any um, copyrights or nothing like that the cover this <laughs> but um, that was it it shows you one of one and to show you that this is actually the Highlander popping up. It tells you what season it is and what you're watching. What is it? He is immortal. Born in the Highlands of Scotland 400 years ago. Now the reason this looks like this is because it's not 4K. It's not even, I think it's 1080. Now we're gonna go to one that I actually purchased. Season six, as you can see, you see these little bars of energy, uh, uh, time lapse. It shows you how much of it I watched, and you know what was watched of it, and how long it's been watched, and it lets you pick up where you left off at. Where Netflix, it makes you start over. If you fall asleep watching a movie, no, I just happen to be passing by. Okay. And Voodoo also has a lot of options. You can make a save list. And if you make a save list, you can actually go back to those movies and they'll be there, which is here. All of these I've watched. If you, you can see that I watched Highlander. I started these two. And whatever is here, 
that's what's going to be up here because they're your most recently watched. I can go down here and those little bars that you see indicated there, it shows you how much of the movie was watched. These are movies that I'm going to watch again. That's why they're not full like, like Tarzan. That's more of a, there's more of a white bar there. There's more of a white bar there as for Annihilation. There's no, this bar is fully black, which means I just clicked on it to start it. It's like a to-do list. This is one of the movies I want to come and watch. Along with Half Plenty, Ghost in the Shell, The Last Witch Hunter, and you know, everything else that has an empty black bar. Where, where Tarzan is more halfway full, filled. Then you come over here, the TV. I don't even know where it shows you these. It just shows you these episodes. But if you want to find the episode that you watch, the only thing is you have to find, you have to click on a season that you watch. You see, these are $1.99, they're $2. And then you come up here, you see that I've actually purchased this because there's a watch bar right next to it. Um, there are also a wish list. There is also a wish list. On Amazon Prime, I saw 47 Meters Down, which was an awesome movie. I am, I put that on my wish list. Um, 65, I've seen previews of this movie, which I am definitely going to pick up. Alien, Alien 3, The Apparition, Bloodthirsty was free. This is another one you can watch free with ads. So they have that. Oh, Avatar Way of the Water, which I can watch now on Disney Plus. Breath was not really that good, but it was, it had its high points. What Breath is about, um, this woman goes exploring rock climbing and she finds herself trapped. I won't, not Breath, Breathe, I'm sorry. But I won't, I won't spoil it in case you want to see it. It's Brightburn, Bullet Train, which I recently saw on Netflix, which is a really awesome movie. The Cave was looks really good. The Craft, I'm, I've watched over and over, which is a really good movie. Die Another Day, Deadpool 2, Creep Show, all these. And all of these are on my wish list. There's The Golden Child, Gravity. And like the, I have 116 movies on my wish list, so I won't go through everything. All of, like the movies I haven't seen yet. Look, Wonder Years. They had this is what makes me come back to Voodoo. They have Wonder Years. I've never seen anybody else with this TV series. They might have it now, but at the time of me putting Wonder Years on here, I didn't see this TV show anywhere. So if you know of Wonder Years that's anywhere, let me know. Um, tag, I've wanted for a while. Smile. You know, there's just so many things here. Voodoo is not something that should be overlooked. You know, it's, they don't give this app enough credit. <clears throat> if you don't like something, you can call them up and say, hey, I don't like this movie, you know. Is there a way I can exchange it for another one? They'll tell you no. They'll just give you the money back. And then you can then purchase another movie. They'll give it to you in credit, and voodoo credit or cash. Which then in turn will let you buy another movie. Also, the thing is, they if you have the movie, you can, per you can download it for free. Your first five movies are free. So take for instance, I'll, I'll show you this one. This is Deadpool 2. I can then put this code in right back here on Voodoo. I don't know if I can show it to you if it's not expired yet. But I can then put that code in on Voodoo, log on, tell them what movie it is, scan this proof of purchase, and then it'll say this movie is available free for download. You click it, and then the counter will go from five to four, which means you have four more movies free to get in 4K HDR or 4K Dolby Vision. You get from movies free. So basically, so 
basically you can then buy the movie, download it, and take the movie back to the store. You still own it here to watch, you know. The only time you'll ever need to purchase a movie is when you is when you uh, run out of your five free movie downloads. You have to actually have the movie though. You can't just scan the code. You can't just take your phone to the store and scan movies. I try. <laughs> Admittedly, I tried it, but you have to actually show that you purchased the movie. Like the, the number, the barcode on the back of the movie has to actually register as being purchased. I don't know how they did it, but that's what they have to do. So once they register that has been purchased, then you can then come to here and download the movie. You can do pre-orders. Pre-orders is something that I never did. Um, offers, you know, pre-orders is basically whatever new movie they have coming out, you know, you can get it on pre-order. Um, these are my list of movies. These are all movies that take place in the winter. Everest, The Shining, The Theme. This is not the newest one. This is John Carpenter's. It's not that new garbage one. This is The Gray, Cliffhanger, Song, The Born Identity. Um, anime, Where's the Tough Guys, my 4K superhero and other movies that take place in native 4K with Dolby Vision. There's more Dolby Visions than I have as 13, but you know, I have them separated. 4K, Jurassic Park, this is 4K HDR, these are my other Dolby Vision movies. This is 20 of them, this is 13. Um, these are just, there's five here, it's like you can, I don't know how many movies you could put into a folder, but it's quite a bit. One time I think I had like 28 movies, yeah, here in a folder. So I don't know how many you could get in here. These are all movies that have, the Redwood Massacre is really good. I feel like it's a UK version ripoff of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but it's also a pretty good movie still. Um, Darkness Falls, this sublet is a really good movie. And it's worth a, a six dollar purchase. It's worth it. It's, it's a really good movie. If you haven't seen the sublet, I strongly look. It's free with ads. You don't need a, a an you don't need an email address. All you need to do is is come to Voodoo and watch it. The only time you'll need an email address, I think, is if you want to save it to your list, and then it'll then make you. Then you'll have to use your make you have to use your email address. Then once you use your email address, then you can start making lists. The Grudge, Annabelle, Darkness Falls was an awesome movie. So I just have all these movies. Like I said, there's like 28 in this list. Then like it goes down, and this is where all my Highlander movies are. This is where they all are. See, then it shows you the ones you got right here. See, it's really, it's really a useful app. And none of my past TVs, on, even on my Vizio and my two, my last two LGs, never had a voodoo button. Why is, does these apps never have a voodoo button? I don't understand this. Is it because they don't pay for it? Is it because they're not sponsoring it? Like, I, what is the deal with that? Voodoo is so over, underrated and overlooked. shows you all their sales and stuff. My voodoo, of course, is mine. If you get it, if there's an offer over there, it appears in the bell. Then you go over here to free, and this is everything they have free. Movies, TV, comedy, horror, action, you know, and the list goes on. There's hundreds of movies for free. There's 300 of them up here. There's 200 here. Here's another 226, another 300. So there's plenty 
of movies here for you to try out, to for you to know if you're gonna like this or not. Look, a cold classic, Night of the Living Dead. Watch it for free. Now it's not available for purchase anymore, but it's still here to watch for free, just as Highlander. And if you want to find this remake, you could come over here to similar. You click it, and it'll come up over here. And as you can see, I've already watched half of it. You can see right there, this bar shows you how much you watch and how much you have left. So I literally have a hundred and I mean an hour and thirty minutes and fifty seconds left of the movie, including the credits, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, it's really a, a, an awesome app. And if you haven't tried Voodoo, I strongly urge you to give it a chance. You know, what have you got to lose? It's free. You don't have to create an email or nothing, I don't think, unless you want to start saving movies or have a watch list or something. Um, that being said, I think it's a really wonderful app. I've been using it, like I said, since the PS3 days. And over the time that I've had Google to now, if I, I, could, I could literally buy a movie right now from them and say, hey, I don't really like this movie. You know, it's got too much blood or violence or I just don't like the story or I don't like the setting or it could be whatever reason you just don't like it you know and you don't have to just watch half of it and then stop you could watch the movie or full time I think you only get one time to watch it but if they see you watched it twice then you won't get to you won't get, they may I don't know they've been lenient with me a couple of times there's times when I watched the movie like four times and not on occasion, I mean, on, on very rare occasion, they've given me a refund. But I never got a refund back to my card. I always got it in Voodoo credit because I already knew I was going to spend my money with them. Because Voodoo is a reliable app. It's, and you can also download the movies to your phone or tablet or laptop or PC or whatever. So if your internet happens to go off, you can still then log into the app and get your movies. I don't think you could download them to a hard drive. I don't have a laptop to try that out. But if you can, you know, let me know. But aside from that, the app is wonderful. I love it. I've never, ever, ever had a bad experience with them. They can't tell me to pay for something that I don't want. They'll give your money back. I don't know how many times they will do it, but they, they've done it for me up until this point, you know, I'm not up until this point. Like for two years, I haven't had to ask for a refund because I have a movie that I've got from them I like. Uh, that being said, this is my Voodoo review. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like Voodoo? Do you hate it? If you hate it, what are some of the things you don't like about it? If you love it, what are your favorite features about Voodoo? You know, they do have Dolby Atmos and everything. They have Dolby Vision, 4K, all of that. Um, I'll show you this last little setting here that they have. I don't know if you can see this. But the, I'm in the settings at the end. You go to your account. Um, caption. Where is it? Look, they have 4K, 1080, and 480. Um, they do support, like I said, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos, and and uh, Dolby and HDI. You know, just to give you a little hint, I'll click, I'll click on this. This movie is only in Dolby At uh, Dolby Vision. This is Everest, and I'm going to mute it. I mean, turn it down, so you can see that it switches up here. Oh, it's in Atmos too. You see, Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision. I didn't think this movie was in Atmos, but apparently it is. You know. That's a storm on the roads right there. Look at this. <laughs> so yeah, and then you can see my two Highlanders was in the front. Since I started watching Nevers, it went from here all it went from here all the way to here again. And then if I watch Crawl, 
it'll put it in a place of wherever it just was because that's what I started recently watching. This is in Dolby Vision. This is Dolby Vision as you see right up in here. And it goes right up here because Everest is just right here. So whatever you start watching will be replaced first and whatever is down here will be taken away. So if I watch another movie, Megan will be pushed aside. It won't be removed. And I'll show you, I'll click on Bloodshot. And I'll come back to the bottom and you won't see Megan anymore. Okay, see, that's the, that's one of the, that's not really a bad experience though. I'll click on Gods of Egypt. I don't know why that happened. That normally never happens. And so now, this is Gods of Egypt. And now I'll go down and you won't, okay, there's Megan. So I'm going to click, click this. Let me go to a uh, new movie that I don't have on my list. Let's go to What About Bob and we'll watch it. And Megan was down here. You won't see Megan anymore. Now I'll stop What About Bob and you'll see What About Bob and my continuous and you won't see Megan down here anymore. See Bloodshot is there. But if I remove let me find, what am I going to remove? Let's remove, let's remove Gods of Egypt. And then Megan will then pop back up on the bottom. Because it doesn't remove it from your list, the list is only capable of holding 20 movies. It's only capable of holding 20. So you won't be able to keep 40, 50, 60 plus. If you want a movie, you just go to your purchase and this will show you all the movies you purchase. The only thing is, when you click on TV, you have to know that you purchase, like all of these things I know I've purchased in or watched free. Something from this has been purchased and this and this and this and this and this. This has not been purchased, but it's in this list because I watched a bit of it. I've purchased things from this. Game of Thrones I put there. Arrow I didn't really like, so I won't, I won't, um, it's even though it says you purchased it down here, I didn't buy anything from here. The Bible, I've purchased every last one of these. And because it still says buy, I don't have to buy it. I've purchased all of the episodes in this. This is, these are all introductions. These are all just introductions. All of these are the episodes which I've bought. You know, all of these are things that I've bought. That's why there's uh, watch meters next to them. And that's the only reason. But, um, 